Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you the easiest way to do a sky replacement in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now on the edit page and I have in my timeline a clip of a girl shadowboxing on the beach and here I have a thunderstorm and I would like basically to replace the sky uh, in that clip with the thunderstorm. To do that, we're going to go over to Fusion. The world is going to be very simple. I'm going to guide you step by step. It's going to take less than two minutes. So basically, first off, I would like to just bring the storm right above my beach clip and then I'm just going to cut it the excess and then we're just going to select those two clip and create a new fusion clip by right clicking on it and new fusion clip perfect we have the new fusion clip then we're just going to go over to fusion by clicking the button below if you're afraid of using fusion don't worry i'm going to guide you step by step it's going to be very simple um, we're going to zoom in and i'm going to give you just a quick base which is basically that here the green arrow is your foreground the yellow arrow is your background and we just bring those two media together with a merge node and then we have our final output which is the media out we can see that final output here because there is a white dot that's basically what we can see on the viewer if i bring that white dot to media one instead as you can see it's not on media out anymore it's here in media one and that means that we see only this node right here we don't see how it's affected right there if we had an effect right here we would not see it um so right now we're just gonna click on media out because we're just gonna want to see how uh, the effect that we're applying are affecting the entire composition so then we're just gonna rename here our two clip. I'm just gonna rename this one. I know it's Storm. I'm gonna rename this one Beach. Okay, so now I want to switch those two because I want the beach to be my foreground and I want the storm to be my background. So here I'm gonna take the yellow and bring it to the green and I'm gonna do the same here with the storm and bring it to the yellow. So now I've basically switched those two. The storm became my background and the beach became my foreground. Now I'm just gonna select beach and then I'm gonna do shift space that I'm gonna open this window and here I'm gonna search for a Luma keyer. Then I'm just gonna hit enter, bring the Luma keyer in, perfect. And here we're just gonna go over to invert and we're gonna adjust this slider here with low and high to select the right contrast between our highlight and our shadows to make sure that we have something that blend in properly. So here I'm just gonna raise that a little bit. All right. And I think I'm quite happy with that. It's working quite good for me. Yeah, it's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, but it might be widely different for you, you know, uh, depending on the light, the amount of contrast that you have on your sky, the amount of contrast that you have on your foreground, the colors and so on. Uh, you will need to adjust those uh, differently. And on some clip, it will just simply not work. Uh, it's not going to work with everything. It just really depends on the kind of contrast, the kind of light uh, that you have on your clip. If it doesn't work with luminance, again, depending on the clip that you get, you can try either blue, uh, green or red, uh, and it will just give you a different kind of blending mode depending on the colors that you have on your clip. Quick tip is that the more contrast you will have between your foreground and your sky, the easiest it will be to do sky replacement. So if you have a sky that is entirely blue or completely blown out, and if you have a foreground that has just darker shade, it will be way easier to then do your sky replacement because you get just a better contrast between your foreground and your background. Another quick tip is depending the light that you have both for your sky and for your foreground, you may want to adjust the colors to make them match properly. So for example here, they match pretty well because uh, the clip that I chose is in the blue and uh, the pink and I shot this clip during blue hours. And that's pretty much it. Obviously there is a better way to go about it using polygon and mask and so on. But uh, to me it's the easiest and quickest way to do it with a moving clip. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.